is up youtube give me guys some nba 2k 14 gameplay and hold up coming off the screen in the wide open three and that's water now what's funny is in this gameplay the commentary did not match up and look at the hustle right there and wait a minute the ball goes right out of bounds that doesn't make any sense i don't know how that happened but in this game it's very quiet because you know obviously i gotta have the gameplay down but one thing that I noticed is the commentary was either off or it made no sense that, you know, they were coming super late. And hold up, me on the fast break, coming in with the jam right over John Wall. You know, it's a John Wall versus me battle in this game. I almost get that 40 inches, so I got to increase my vertical. That was just funny that there was no presentation commentary there was no you know announcers no nothing but you know obviously i'm not gonna restart this game it's right here giving the crown bow to see what we could do john wall leaves me again wide open a plus you know that three pointer is going in it's right here diving on the ball again trying to do something you know and finally it works out it's right here coming up with the offense he's coming off the screen and right there, dishing it to Karan Butler, and he gets a nice assist. So that's why I got to hustle on those plays, because it all worked out. So I'm here with the ball, trying to put some moves on. And right here, dishing it to Luke Rittenhauer, who has the wide open three, and he gets that one to fall, give me another assist. So right there, getting the shot. It's shot block, coming on the break. Got one man to beat. And that finisher signature skill, I'm telling you guys, you need it for those types of layups. So Mecca Okafor misses the layup, so I get it. I'm taking it on the break, and no one stops ball, so I'm coming in with another jam. Just slamming it on him. Still wearing my pink shoes, still rocking the pink sleeve. Ain't nothing changing about that. You know, I might just change the shoes to a different color. Not exactly sure which color. You know, I might end up changing that. And leave OJ Mayo wide open, and he knocks down another three. So I'm racking up the assists, being a true point guard. Coming off the miss. OJ Mayo's taking it. So, you know, I'm going to just stop right here. See what we got running. And running the pick and roll, and I'm lobbing it up to Larry Sanders, who slams it down. I got to start throwing more oops. So, you know, we're up by a pretty comfortable lead. Right here, they stopping me, double teaming me. So, you know, I'm going to bring it back up, call the pick and roll. And right there, the double teaming. So, I dish it to Sanders, barely got that pass through, and I get another assist. And John Wall with the floater, and it does not get to fall. So, right there on the fast break, taking it up. You know, it's nothing, getting those easy layups. So, I'm coming off the pick. Now, I had a layup, but I dish it out to Gary Neal, who hits the three-pointer, and that gets me the double-double for the game. So we're in the fourth quarter with five minutes left, and it is a close game now. And I get John Wall in the air, and I come in with the windmill jam. I, they ain't going to give me no replay on that. I don't understand it. And right here coming off another pick and getting another assist. So I'm just racking them up. And coming in with the blocked, getting that shot, block, coming on the break. Nobody stops ball again, coming in with another jam. So, you know, I'm just slamming it down everywhere. So, John Wall misses that free throw, and he gets it out to me. And I'm coming in, and I'm going in with a nice layup, and right there, that layup gives me 40 points. So, it puts us up by nine. And after that, there's not much they could do. We come around with the win. We win by nine. So we beat the Wizards. So thanks for watching. I'm trying to get 20 likes on this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.
It didn't matter where you shot from tonight, everything was falling. Have you ever felt this confident about your shot before? Yeah, it's happened before. Sometimes you get into one of those rhythms where the ball's just jumping in no matter what you do, man. It might be for a quarter or the whole game or could even go on for a week or two. And that's the time I love playing basketball, man, more than anything. When you feel unstoppable, like you can do no wrong. Man, if I could bottle up that feeling and sell it, I'd be a rich man and the best player that ever lived.